You're right, guys. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, how how stop hunts can turn into um, or do, do turn into uh, capture pain relief zones. So if you miss a stop hunt, yeah, don't worry about it. It's not you know the end of the world. You can take advantage if price pulls back. Right. So let's go through this and. <clears throat> So we wanted to be a buyer of the, you know, the dollar. Obviously, Swiss franc was uh, strengthening in a maybe like a risk-on environment. Um, it was more likely to be a risk-on environment, right? So um, what we had was a nice uh, level, yeah, where traders would have been getting long on those types of pin bars right there, um, and then they get obviously stopped out, yeah, right there. So bit of a stop hunt, and this was, was quite a complex one. It's quite a complex one, but a bit of a complex one. Not our usual um, type of entry one that we would um, really kind of enter on. But as you guys know, we did enter based off of the um, the weekly. You know, price came down into its weekly zone, um, weekly demand zone, and then we were looking at obviously, you know, um, buy trades on the lower time frames. So um, <clears throat> we actually took advantage of the stop hunt, but not in the usual way that we. Uh, um, uh, that we would the usual entries so anyways um these guys now sorry these guys now have definitely been stop hunted right now um what we saw is is we saw more traders getting involved in this move to the downside now you can see where obviously support becomes potential resistance so prices have pulled back to that level there and then you know pulled back again yeah and then managed to go a bit lower. So in the lower time frame, that probably would have been like pull back, pull back, and it's confirmed that that level is um, a level of resistance. And then prices have gone to the downside. So if you maybe go down to like the thirty minute or something like that. You can see, yeah, down there. Maybe you've down into something like maybe the ten minute chart or something. Yeah, so you can start to see where resistance, resistance traders are in. Yeah, so. <clears throat> You can start to really see why traders would be getting short here. Yeah, remember this is also draw. It's a stop hunt, but also drawing traders into the short side. Now, if traders are placing stop losses, yeah, um, this is this is goes into capture pain relief now. Um, then they're committing their capital here, right? So at the same time as a stop hunt is occurring, yeah, and prices are going lower and drawing traders into the downside. Yeah, um, stop hunting. Um, traders are also getting in short now. Um, sorry, one sec. So, prices pull back. I think they pull back a little bit. Yeah, there to a level, and then traders definitely getting in short now. So, if traders didn't get short in here, they're definitely getting in short in here. This price action, that bearish candle there. It's definitely gonna get a lot of traders and think about it. It's like the, it's like the eight o'clock candle as far as uh, London time. So that's prime time. That's you know peak time trading. Everyone's at their desks looking at that. Boom! Looks like it's going lower. They're placing their entries there, and for traders that do use stops, they're placing them up here. Um, and the, and the, the, the ill-disciplined traders and there's some obviously there's lots of traders that don't use stop losses right use mental stops or whatever they they do yeah um but remember we're taking advantage of the fact that they don't like to lose now they, there's an argument that says um well you know how many traders would get stopped out or, or move their stop losses yeah or don't use stop losses we know that traders don't use stop losses and also traders that do play stop losses move them and for several reasons, could be the fact that maybe they've lost a couple of trades getting long here, and then all of a sudden now, the market's moved to the short side. So now they're trying to revenge trade um, because they ended up losing here. They've lost maybe two, three trades previous. They vote, they're over leveraged. They've put too much on there. Normally they risk 2%. Now they want to risk 4% or 5% to make back up their losses. Various reasons that traders you know, will, will get in you know, to the short side and also move their stop losses. Yeah, there's there's so many different reasons. Traders are not disciplined. Yeah, the average trader is not disciplined. Right, I can tell you that now. I wasn't, and just because I wasn't doesn't mean everyone else was. But you know, I've I've spoken to and mentored enough uh, traders to know that these mistakes happen. Um, 
and the, what I was shown as well by uh, my mentor as well, Mark, who um, showed me this um, uh, this way of thinking anyway. But yeah, getting back to the um, strategy. So um, what you want to look for as well is you want to see where traders, if traders have actually made their profit targets. So traders who got in here, yeah, or maybe this breakout here, traders will tend to do what? Maybe go for maybe some sort of one-to-one -one type trade before they get out, yeah? Some, most traders, say most, but a lot of traders will get in, you know, will try to go for further, but one-to-one -one is pretty much the minimum. So stop above, probably just stop out above the high, maybe a few pips above the high. And then you've also got traders getting in as well here, yeah? There as well, stop maybe around around the same level, maybe around there as well, right? So in order for these guys to be captured, yeah, in their position, you don't want them to be let off the hook. Yeah, you don't want them to ever reach their profit target, which price does not. Price doesn't reach their profit target. Yeah. So at the same time as this is really like a a, a, a more of a complex stop hunt below the level, if we zoom back out. You can start to see obviously where this is happening. This is probably more of what we would know is an iceberg order where you know um, it's being filled. Yeah, iceberg orders are being filled below the market. They're buying at a better price, um, and stop hunting is also being used as um, potential capture pain relief, zero sum game. You know, traders, more traders getting involved here, placing their stop losses above the market based off of price action, potential price action. Then all of a sudden we get movement because their stop losses are obvious in places you get the stop hunt to the upside but again traders who move their stop losses and don't want to accept the loss what are they doing now instead of instead of risking you know two three four five percent they find themselves down six seven eight nine ten percent and as prices keep going against them yeah where we are right here they are underwater you know massively and the more this goes to the upside yeah the more this price goes to the upside the more pain they're in yeah so this is the capture phase where they commit capital c p you know is the pain phase now if price has ever come back down here yeah this is going to be the relief phase yeah because what's the next best trade other than a losing trade or winning trade really is break even yeah or a small loss at least yeah so if traders went short anytime here or around here and suffered from loss aversion where they didn't want to take the loss or accept the loss and they're going for a bit of pain at the moment yeah looking at their unrealized negative uh, bank account <coughs> trading account what do you think they're going to do they're going to exit yeah here and if they went short they have to go long to exit as far as they have to do the opposite transaction so if you sold here you have to buy to exit so <clears throat> that's going to add to the supply and demand equation around here as traders exit and as buying orders is demand isn't it yeah is demand so there should be demand here so <clears throat> if you miss this overall stop hunt right here then what you can do is if prices can never get back here at some point, not saying they're gonna reverse now. Yeah, the more pain, the better, by the way. The more pain, the better. You wanna see that. Um, but if prices ever come back to this area here, this zone where you've got support, resistance, resistance should become more support there. So don't worry about missing the stop hunt in real time. You know, we got in down here, nice trade. Take profit is my first take profit anyway. Um, I, only, I only entered one position. We didn't get filled, and I didn't get filled in the second position. But first position is is going to be um, um, filled just below this uh, 0 0.97. If it can get up here, there's no reason why it shouldn't. <clears throat> Overall, the Swiss franc is um, very. Uh, I guess I don't like using the term overvalued, but it's very expensive. It's highly valued, as described by the uh, central bank governor. I think his name's Thomas Jordan. So. Um, yeah, so this nice buying opportunity, right? And you can even see it on the weekly as well. Look at that weekly um, stop hunt. Yeah, you can see nice clear level there. Yeah, there's a little bit of one here, which I did enter on a couple of weeks ago. Got out for one position, 
second position got stopped out, which is fine because I'm still up. And then you can see like a deeper stop hunt there. And now potentially we could be off to, you know, the races to the upside. Um, so yeah, so that's how, you know, uh, uh, we can, you know, take advantage of, you know, stop hunts in real time, but also stop hunts turning into, you know, capture pain relief zones as well yeah so um, if this does come back it might not come back anytime soon it might keep going um, and so on and so forth an example of this as well I don't know if you guys remember this but um, if maybe about last week at some point um, I was saying about the Aussie um, Aussie New Zealand not a pair that I'm looking to trade because they're both commodity currencies but just to show you remember we did this analysis right higher lower highs lower lows this now look like a stop hunt where you've got a level there, stop hunt, prices go up. So this now is the what? Capture phase, pain, oh, uh -uh. P, capture pain, and then this is the what? Relief, yeah? The relief, I've got support, should turn to what? Resistance, anyone who got short down here, yeah, and if we go into the zone a bit more, you can start to see where traders would have been getting short. Retracement traders getting short here, they're exiting where? There. So they they assumed, yeah, when this was happening in real time, it's a nice engulfing candle that prices are gonna do what? So the downside, right? But what ends up happening? The opposite. So capture, pain, and then relief, yeah? So if they went short here, they have to buy to exit. Other traders are doing what? Buying here as well at levels of support and resistance, entering new trades. Traders who got short here are doing what at this area? Buying as well. So load, plenty of demand at this area. Technically, again, fundamentally, this isn't a great pair. This is not a great pair to trade. Um, so, but just to show you, you know, what what happens if you know what I mean on an hourly chart there was probably enough to you know to the upside to get involved in that trade if you really wanted to buy the uh, Australian dollar against the New Zealand dollar um, you know today earlier today so um, but that's just an example and then you know going back to the Swiss franc uh, dollar Swiss pretty much the same type of setup if we can get that type of movement um, so guys yeah that's um pretty much it don't ever worry if you miss the, the 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 stop hunt in real time because they can turn into or they do turn into um cpr zones right um and yeah just to also remember as well that you know um don't worry about getting um as far as you know shorting the pound um i did a video earlier today uh which is gonna be uh, i think where is it now Let's go into, I did a video earlier today, which is discussion room. It's found right here. Yeah, so interest rate cuts, you know, pound cuts, trade idea, roundup, technical entries and targets plus more. There you go. Um, yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> so um so yeah it's all there remember as well to go through the fundamentals as well you know um, all the fundamental videos are there uh, the, the news you know the reason why we're getting short the pound as well is we've been trying to get short the pound for ages and i've been saying this and you guys will know so look back on all of the data the reason why we're getting short the pound you know for various reasons was um where is it now? Where's the uh, where's the article? Uh, da, 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 da. It was Bank of England inflation, right? It's three year low. This was a couple of days ago. I think this was on Wednesday. Yeah, there's Brexit concerns. Yeah, leaving the Euro, we're leaving the Euro um, eurozone potentially. Um, so yeah, it was just you know Mark Carney coming out saying. Um, you know that there's a potential rate cut yeah um, but also today the consumer spending and again that's all in you know the uh, 
the discussion room video so that video right there yeah um so yeah brilliant guys i'm gonna be um off for the weekend now um i'll probably maybe be in and out of the room at some point but probably um i'm gonna just relax and chill for a little bit got lots to do um uh, so guys have a great weekend i won't be in the room on the weekend but i will be posting the weekly analysis so the weekly zones daily zones um uh, chart analysis you know with uh, how i normally do remember the ones the one in here in this group is um you know the, the full strategy so you'll find that in the supply and demand uh, channel right here so don't worry about it um uh, I'll post it in here. The one on YouTube isn't necessarily for um, this is just for the, the, the masses. It's not it, you won't get let's say like the full strategy or anything like that. So um, yeah, guys, have a great weekend, and I will speak to you soon.